I'm Lakshmi and this story is about the connection between your complexion and uh, the idea of value, inherent value that you hold as a human being. Uh, I was born uh, to uh, parents who were uh, fairly fair-skinned and uh, in a South Indian family but uh, my father was in defense so I moved around a lot and I was also predisposed to uh, engage and uh, take part and be excited and thrilled by activities which were outside. So it so happened that I would play sports and I would really just avara uh, gardi, <laughs> just take my cycle and go around. What ended up happening with that was that my skin of course uh, got tanned uh, and every time I'd go back to my um, home town which is in Kerala there would be an inspection of how tanned I was and I'd have to stand and show my face and show my different body parts which were at that point growing growing as any child does and I would there would be a couple of uh, my family members sitting and telling me and rating me on uh, the amount of um, discoloration that had taken place um, and uh, what it did for me was sort of tell me that my value, inherent value as a human being was based on the way I look. <clears throat> and the problem with this is that it took a long while for me and uh, I still am in therapy and one of the things that does come up for uh, is where does my need to be a per looking a particular way or rather dismissing all those ideas and looking exactly opposite that comes from and it does come from a very deep-rooted patriarchal and colorist way of looking at uh, I would I want to say women of having to look a certain way and uh, be validated for skin color and what it has resulted in now and my process right now is to balance this inner voices, the cop in the head which I have received from my family members. Also remember that I don't have to go all out and reject everything out there which defines fashion. But find a middle ground and really ask myself what my internal um, likings or desires are vis-a-vis -vis aesthetics and how I want to perform my aesthetics. And that's my story. Hi, I am Bridget. Uh, I am professionally a school teacher and otherwise I love pursuing my other passions in life and I love speaking on topics which are considered as taboos in society and this being one of the favorite ones. Uh, my story, if I think back in time, I think uh, my complete thought process was wired in such a manner that if anything were to go wrong in my life, it was simply or purely because of my skin tone. And so you can imagine at that point, at that naive age of say 11 to 18, you are inbred with this thought that something is awfully wrong with that skin tone of yours. Where for instance, there was a time when I asked my mom that why did God make this, the insides of my palm, this shade and why did he not choose the same shade to apply here as well. It was a very rampant trend to be just called out very blatantly out, Kali. I have kind of lost count of how many times lovely people have come up to me and suggested, very genuinely suggested to me um, for considering, <clears throat> considering applying you know, and do myself a favor if that's what they think about. It were my uh, high school years that I started working on my self-concept and I was a trained Padmanabh dancer. I started training myself in contemporary. I started writing, I started singing. Only I know how much it increased my self-concept at that point. So this is the phase where people started noticing that, yes, you're pretty, but that was always there with the condition though. The condition was, you're pretty, you know, but for a dark girl, you're pretty. And that 18 year old would just smile and say, thank you. Because till that point for me, Someone, at least someone, thought I was pretty. And I was completely okay with it. I was completely okay with ignoring the latter part of that statement, which had that condition implied in that. And years went on with that. And it, I think it was when I started working, and that was the age of 21, that I got this very similar compliment. And that was the first time I feel, I believe that I reverted to the person saying that you know, it's not a compliment. 
if that's what you think it is. And I've never looked back. Because after that, I call out on anyone who says that to me. It is not okay to just accept what is offered to you in a platter in that way, or offered to you as a compliment in that sense. And just think about the child or that teen at that point, the thought process of the person. That's it. So that brings me to the main point of the story. If, especially this goes out to all the young girls and boys there, that if you feel that you're insecure about your skin tone at this point, which I get, I understand, I see the space you're coming from, been there, done that, I get it, it's not your fault, but I really hope and I pray that you come to a point in your life, and I really hope that soon, where you'd be proud, proudly you'll say it out loud and clear that you love your skin tone. And believe me, you, you will, trust me, you will.